Act 4, Scene 1. When you have nothing, there's nothing left to lose. Oh, but what's happened? Are my father's eyes bleeding? Go away, good friend. You can't help me now. But I want to help you, sir. You can't see. You can't find your way. I don't need any eyes. When I had eyes, I couldn't see what I most needed to see. Oh, my dear, my dear son Edgar, I wish I could hold you. Then I would say that I needed eyes again. <laughs> Who's there? Who's there? Oh, now I feel worse than I ever did before. Look, it's poor mad Tom. Where are you going, Tom? Is it a beggar in front of us? Yes, he's a madman and a beggar. I saw a beggar in last night's storm. He reminded me of my son, but I had no good thoughts about my son then. Now, however, I know the truth. My father is so sad. He has fallen apart. I wish I didn't have to pretend to be a beggar. Hello, sir. Is that the mad beggar? Yes, it is, my lord. If you really want to help me, bring some clothes for this poor beggar. I'll ask him to take me to Dover. He can't help you, sir. He's mad. Please help him. Okay, okay. I'll bring him the best clothes that I can, sir. Come here, my friend. Are your eyes okay? They're bleeding. Do you know the way to Dover? Yes, sir. Here. Take this money. All men should help each other. The rich especially should help the poor. There is a very high cliff in Dover. Take me to the top of it. You don't need to take me anywhere else. Of course. Poor Tom will take you there. Act 4, Scene 2 Welcome, Edmund. Where's my husband, Oswald? I haven't seen him. Madam, he's inside, but he's changed. I told him that the French army had arrived. He smiled. Then I told him you were coming. His answer was, that is not good, good. I told him that Gloucester had deceived us and that Edmund had been good to us. Then he told me that I'd got everything wrong. You shouldn't come in. My husband is angry with you. Go back to Cornwall. Get his army together and help him. Edmund, Duke of Gloucester is hungry for power. Perhaps I should use him to help me. Madam, here comes your husband. Oh, Goneril, I'm starting to feel frightened of you. You are evil. Be quiet. Don't say anything more. What have you done? You and Regan are tigers, not daughters. You've been cruel to your father, a kind old man. Cornwall allow you to do this. He has had so much from your father. Soldiers are here from France, but all you do is sit here and cry. Oh, why is he doing this? Where is your sword? Look at your skirt yourself, Goneril. Evil hides inside you. What is the news? Oh, my lord! The Duke of Cornwall was killed by his servant after he fought Gloucester, and now Gloucester can't see. Gloucester can't see. Poor Gloucester. Regan wants a quick answer to this letter. In one way, this is good news. Without Cornwall, it's more likely that I can rule over all the kingdom. But now Edmund has gone to my sisters. I don't want him to help her soldiers. I'll read the letter, 
and sent her an answer. Where was Gloucester's son, Edmund, when he fought with Corn? He was travelling here with my lady. But he's not here? No, my lord. I met him travelling back again. Does he know what has happened? Yes, my lord. Edmund told us about his father. Edmund left the house so that the Duke of Cornwall could punish Gloucester. Gloucester, Gloucester, I thank you for the love you have shown the king. And I'll take revenge for what has happened to you. Come here, friend. Tell me what else you know. Act 4, Scene 3 Tell me, sir, why has the King of France returned so suddenly to his country? He had something important to do there. Did the letters make Queen Cordelia very sad? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. She read them while I was there, and I saw that she was crying. But she was not angry. Did she say anything? Yes. Once or twice she called out her father's name. She said, Sisters, sisters, you left your father outside in the storm, in the night. What have you done? And after that she left the room because she wanted to be alone. Have you... Have you spoken to her since then? No. Well, sir, the poor unhappy king is here. But he does not want to see his daughter. Why, sir? Because he was so unkind to her before. He sent Cordelia to France and gave everything to her cruel sisters. This has made him mad. The poor man. Do you have any news of Albany and Cornwall's armies? They are nearby. Well, sir, I will take you to King Lear. 